So here we are, hiking is happiness. We're hiking two hike weekend. A two hike weekend. A two hike weekend. Two day hike. And uh, we're up at Tidbit. As of right now, we're alone. Ophishaw. That may change. We talked on the way up here and we decided that somebody will join us. We don't know when or who, but somebody will. So we'll wait for that. This is a non trailhead hike. It's a short hike, uh, two, I think 2.2 miles up. So, you know, roughly four and a half mile round trip. Uh, it's kind of a nice hike because you, you get up pretty high. <laughs> that was, that, you know, thank you very much for whoever wrote that. But uh, we'll we'll have to block that out. Somebody wrote some bad thing on the on the deal. But anyway, uh, so here we go. Here we go. Let's see. We can maybe see the. The funniest thing is how people leave things. Oh, sign's gone. Everything. Just make out tidbit. Okay. Very good. See you on the other side. Tidbit Trail is actually quite a nice trail. The first part is a little bit overgrown. It gets a lot of sun. So the roadies are encroaching all the stuff but it soon kind of opens up into a more mature forest and uh it's just really a nice trail there uh there was a cabin up here way back when we'll see some uh signage that has to do with that or we'll find out about that and, and it's that just the history is kind of cool of this area but we are at the moment traversing a ridge and again, you know, fairly steep country. Goes up and goes down quite steeply. There are some uh, pretty good sized trees. This is a sheltered area because we're in a valley and uh, the wind doesn't have an opportunity to really pick up across here so the trees can grow very tall and for their height quite slender which I think is really kind of cool to see uh, I don't know if the, really the camera can illustrate again but these trees in here are <laughs> very tall um, 180 feet you know, there, there are trees in here that will top out 200 feet. And they're not tremendously huge in girth. So that is always an indication of good growing conditions. And for trees, that means not a ton of really strong wind. Because really strong wind makes it hard on trees. But look at these. This is just amazing. It is a, such a pleasure to come into a forest like this. So, uh, as always, we encourage you to get out and explore. And once you start, it will surprise you how easy it is. This doesn't take a lot of effort, really. To uh, get out and do this kind of stuff. Did you see this uh, dog drinking fountain? No, I was taking a picture. Somebody dug that out so the dogs can take a drink. Uh -huh. Dog friendly trail.
isn't it beautiful up here? It's, it is beautiful up here, Susan. I love it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's a great trail. It is very cool. Hiking is happiness. This is an interesting little spot. We've got some trees that came down, tipped over, and somebody just did a great job of opening this up so we can trek through here. Thank you very much. But this is like, <laughs> this you don't see very often. This is like a big hammer waiting for you to pass underneath. The sword of Damocles just hanging over your head. You know, an area that is like, oh, I think I'm going to walk underneath that pretty quick. How interesting. This tree, when it gave up the ghost, fell in between these two giants. And the there was enough cantilever to actually pull the trunk right up out of the ground. <laughs> okay, so we'll just pass underneath this with great haste. And then we can look back. Oh yeah, I like the rocks up there too. <laughs> you know, look, look at that rock. Oh my goodness. That would give you a headache. So, let's see what happens when Susan goes through. She's recording. Oh, look at that. We're looking at you looking at that. No, it's a, it's a rarity right there, my dear. That's a rarity. And we suggest you come through with great, great haste. Susan, she's pushing the envelope. If she only knew what was hanging above her head. Oh, there we go. She's through safely. Okay, good. Captain's trying to dislodge those rocks. Thinking it might be dangerous that they fall down on someone. They're in there tight. Don't think so. No, it's, it seems relatively solid. If we had a bigger stick. It actually broke into pieces. Good job. That's better. Wow. Yeah, that rock kind of bothered me. Because that would really ruin your day. Wow. 
Onward and upward? Good job. What a huge tree. The bark is so gnarly. So thick, protecting that tree. Little kind of an opening here, filled with roadies. How cool is that? I'm from Michigan originally, so it's always a thrill for me to come up here. This is why I love it so much. I love the mountains. I love the trees. And it's so special to come to a little area that has all these roadies around, flowers, just nature's banquet of beauty it is so fun for me i just love it i can't get enough of it look at these huge trees it's like standing amongst giants Silent sentinels, too. Just an amazing world that we are just brief visitors to. How fun. How wonderful. 1509, that's where we came from. Tidbit Mountain, that's where we're going. Gold Hill Trail, Tidbit Mountain, road 1509, three and a half miles. Same road, but different uh, hike, obviously, because this one is about mile and a half, mile and three quarters. But if you wanted to make a longer one, you could take this one. It'd be twice as long. Oh, my goodness. Our prediction was correct. Tidbit Trail. One of the first really good view spots. So you get to see some distance. This trail now changes its personality quite a bit. And they cut that tree to a bigger trail. Yeah, they cut a little notch in it. And you know, that's again these these foresters are really smart. To cut this tree is very dangerous because this stump weighs multiple tons. And when that stump is severed from the trunk, uh you don't know what's gonna happen. So it's best just to create a step, leave everything in place, and it's safe and happy and life is good. They know what's, what to do. They've done it multiple times and we should be thankful to the Forest Service for maintaining these trails, creating the trails, maintaining the trails as best they do and uh, give us an opportunity to get out and enjoy nature, enjoy Oregon. The bees are out in force today. They are everywhere. And the uh, roadies are being pollinated, boy. So good deal.
I've come in here and had to snowshoe through here. And it's quite different, <laughs> quite different, fun. This side retains snow uh, quite a bit more than the rest of the trail. So you can start off hiking with your hiking boots and then end up snowshoeing. Because of this, uh, this side does not see that much sun. But uh, definitely a good time. I like trails like this, this across the uh, alluvium. That's where we're going. That's Tidbit. And that used to have a fire tower on it. So again, a cloud girl would be up there through the summer. Ooh, there's a rock that fell down in the trail. Good time. Some of my favorite hiking is, is on stuff like this. I just think it's so cool. I like the sound. How you doing, Susan? <laughs> 